altcoin season june 2020 welcome back guys it's crypto rocker from rockstar trading channel in today's video guys we're going to be looking at best altcoins to buy this month so the way i work is guys i look at a few indicators that i use to know whether altcoins are going to perform well or not so if you have been subscribed to my channel and watched the previous altcoin season videos and the previous top five coin videos especially last one if you watch this video i covered zilliqa especially which went up above 300 percent so we'll see uh, the indicators that are used to see whether altcoins will have a good month or not uh, there are always some altcoins that are going up so i'll be sharing with you some key altcoins as well and some wildcard crazy entries and see if you know chain link about a year ago i made the video on it that went crazy so we'll see if we can catch the next gem as well so let's have a look at bitcoin first the one of the first things i do is look at bitcoin and ethereum they're the two main coins that decide whether altcoins are going to do well or not that is how i uh, get into the best trading positions and know the best coins to trade so i'll, I'll talk about uh, bitcoin and ethereum before talking about all the crazy entries and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you sm smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the next turn, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out on the next big breakout coin so so let's have a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is pulling back, but it's still ranging and best altcoin moves happen when Bitcoin is ranging. So Bitcoin has been in this range for almost two months now and it's not really been doing anything and it's been great for trading altcoins to be honest. And as long as Bitcoin is in this range, uh, there's potential to be trading altcoins even more. So that's the uh, key zone. From a shorter time frame, if you ask me what my thoughts are on Bitcoin, um, I'll share with you how I've been trading it. So this is a post that I made this morning in our group. Uh, talked about you know taking a looking at a short using our pullback strategy you can see exactly the price bitcoin is at now and um, the stops and targets so if you if people did take that trade uh, for our pullback uh, this resistance line uh, on the five minute there were some really nice entries the way i traded there's some videos on youtube as well scalping videos i recommend you check them out it's coming into some support so take some profits uh, if bitcoin breaks below 9200 uh, level that might not be great uh, for altcoins for a bit i think bitcoin will We'll find some support at 9,000 and 8,800 level. We can look to take altcoin trades then. And if Bitcoin does break out above 9,600 or 10,500, uh, that's when the fireworks will start, especially 10,500. I've made a Bitcoin video, check it out. And if you are part of the group, I'll talk about it at the end of the video. I'll keep you guys up to date and try and keep you guys on the right side of the market. So, Bitcoin is king, guys. Whatever Bitcoin does, altcoins follow. So, if you guys remember when Bitcoin was breaking out here, I was mainly trading Bitcoin and not altcoins because you'd make more money trading Bitcoins. When Bitcoin is going sideways, it's very hard to trade Bitcoin, I'll be honest. It's so spiky, it's very, very hard once bitcoin gets clearer breaks out whether it's up or down we can look to trade it uh so that's my thoughts on bitcoin let's have a look at ethereum one of the main charts i look for is ethereum btc and the way i've traded it before is when ethereum btc broke down here altcoins suffered and we traded and made loads of money when altcoins was going up here when nomatic was one there's loads of coins that went up this one was another one when you know zilliqa enj there's loads of coins that have performed really well and let's not forget about theta I recommend you just go ada is another one just check out these videos and i'll share with you exactly the levels i'm buying on youtube i share with you you know which coins i'm buying uh, in their educational group i share with you what levels to look to buy as well and there's other people trading as well so if ethereum breaks down below 24 cent level uh, 24 satoshi level uh, uh, 0245 against bitcoin i think uh, altcoins will suffer it will probably find support on the 50 percent 618 level but it will probably suffer if ethereum breaks out above 20 uh, 0.26 i think that will be amazing for altcoins and that's when you don't even need me you can just look to buy altcoins you know when it was going up and uh, newer people were making lots of money uh, when it goes down that's when you need to be very frugal with your trades uh, you need to stick to my strategy or have your own strategy and stick to your strategy when things are going up it's very very easy to trade so we'll have to see what happens it's gonna be a very important month uh, for you for you people that are trying to learn altcoins or have been trading altcoins successfully invest in yourself learn the strategy because it's really important to be able to get this correct and i'm not saying i'll get everything correct but i believe with my strategy overall over a year i know i'll be profitable 
so those are my thoughts on altcoin season so if if bitcoin consolidates and goes up slightly ethereum bitcoin breaks out i think altcoins will do very well and i know i call this video altcoin season every month but i think the real altcoin season will happen when bitcoin breaks into new highs and there's fomo in your uncle your auntie is talking about buying bitcoin that's when uh, that's how it was back in end of 2017 uh, i got in early 2017 and it was nothing i've never seen anything like this it was i didn't sleep i was just trading if we have if we do have another breakout and uh, you don't have to i don't have to tell you fomo you'll you'll hear about bitcoin everywhere that's when we'll get the crazy altcoin season but learn it and learn and invest in yourself now so if we do get a crazy move like that in the future and we had an opportunity earlier this month that you can profit from it so let's start looking at some altcoins guys ada has been one that we've traded really well i took a live trade and uh, because i do live streams in the group three to four times a week it broke out during a live stream we took a trade here and it's been a really good trade but now i'm not too sure um I, I was waiting for a break above there to get in similar to here and it's not really broken above it so it's only scalping at the moment uh, for higher probability i would like to see a breakout above uh, the 930 level for ADA. XLM is a coin that I like and I'm waiting for a breakout I'm actually in this coin I don't want to give too much away but I am, I'm looking to buy if it gets back above 920 you can see I've set an alert and I let people in the group know that is a coin that I like fundamentally it's at support now I'm waiting for a trend change to get into bat so that would be another coin I look for theta I believe is more of a pump and dump I made a video on theta and uh, you guys can check it out uh, where is it gone theta pump and dump and uh, <laughs> that was probably the top you can go re-watch the video so again i don't think i'm not really interested in theta maybe if it have a big dump and everyone gets scared i might look to get in or at a trend change above sort of the 300 3, uh, 3000 satoshi level i could look to get back in rvn is a coin that is looking okay um i did post a signal on rvn um let me see if i can find it out for you i know people say how do i know you're trading it i post in the group all the time and to be fair rvn didn't give the perfect pullback you can see uh, how we were trading at the levels we were looking to buy and it's at resistance now if rvn breaks out above 250 i think rvn will have a big move up you could look to buy a pullback around the 220 level it's finding daily support so um it's not very clear not clear to me now because we can see a double uh, potential head and shoulders and um, if we, if it breaks down and gets back above um, the moving average for our moving average i'll look too long it. it's not as clear when it was breaking out from here so neo was one that i was looking at it's not really done anything i was looking to get back into neo this trend line break it's not broken out i'm still watching for for neo uh, there's potential news coming out in neo so i will be looking at neo to trade ENJ broken below support it's still on my watch list because if you see um, ENJ has been a very very good coin for us to trade I've talked about ENJ in previous old coin season and top five videos it's broken below the daily moving average yeah, but it has previously broken below daily moving average and got back above so if it does that um, I'll let you guys know but this is a coin that I would look like to trade Zilliqa I made a video on Zilliqa yesterday saying that it could potentially find some support at the daily moving average it hasn't so uh, we've not really got into a trade uh, this is something I look for in the daily time frame we've seen with ENJ we've seen even with Theta it had a dump but it had a big move up I don't think Zilliqa is as much of a pump and dump like um, uh, like theta because it was more of you can see it trending but it's very high time frame and it's at resistance so uh, this is not a coin that I'm interested in if you watch the th um, Zilliqa video yesterday there's some trading opportunities now but for big breakouts again wait for it to you know come back to maybe 50 60 percent Fibonacci or an hourly trend change for you know using my trading strategy wait for a trend trend change to buy a pullback um, if you're looking to buy it maybe look for a break above here which is a 230 level if you're looking to trade it um that's when you can look to buy but from long-term buying i know people some people in my group are you know trying to trade full-time and full-time traders and some people just 
learns about coins that I post, you know, breaking out coins and they buy them. So it's, it, whatever. So if you're more of a day trader and trying to do this, have more time, then you could look to trade these opportunities. If not, wait for the higher probability opportunities. And Nano has been another coin that I've really liked. And you can see it broke down below, got back above. You could look to get back in. I can share with you the posts on Nano. Nano has worked really well, similar to XLM. Um, so Nano is looking quite good still. As long as we stay above, uh, if you look at the daily moving average, we bounce from the daily moving average. If at the moment, if you're looking to buy, it's already had a big move up. Uh, I would personally, you know, have this resistance drawn. If we have a nice structure here, I would look to get back in. That could be another trade that sets up. I'll talk about a couple more coins. I don't want to make, keep you guys here long. Um, one coin that I want to share with you, again, these are a couple of other coins that are doing well. Um, one coin I want to share with you is Sia coin, and that is a coin that is looking really good. They've got news coming out, news or rumors, I don't really know exactly what it is, but there, there's some rumors going on with um, Coinbase, I believe, and coins with rumor seems to do well get some extra push if you see um some people i mean i personally didn't get the best entry but you can see how i got in and what level i'm looking to trade it is at resistance now but maybe look for a four hourly pullback it's already given you it so you could look to get in with your stop below um I personally would like it to get back above 50% Fibonacci, saying we got back above 30% Fibonacci and target this range. 50 uh, was my target and is still my target, as you can see. So that is one coin I'd like to share. Um, as people ask for wildcard entries, let me talk about another quite an interesting project, if you ask me. So to end the video, I want to talk about more of a wildcard coin so people ask me people always message me about coins to break out and I, I i'm always researching about projects newer projects and this is a quite an interesting project so i thought i'll talk about that it's one coin that could you know may have good potential in the short term and long term um, i've done a bit of research on it and it's an interesting project that are that i like and uh, they've got some news coming out um, if you look at uh, shard it's a multi-chain uh, storage uh, validation network uh, they've got a new marketing team and it's showing good results you can can see the the price have been going up quite a lot and uh, they've got a new website coming in and it's got some positive news coming out so it could potentially have a breakout it's not on a big exchange yet but it's looking quite interesting they have their own line of mining hardware and um, the sharder box the sharder hub they've already got one app that's working which is interesting to see sign ease and uh, they've got a second app coming out as well in october the island um so yeah i mean it's looking okay so potentially in in the near future in 2021 um it's a very small market cap coin as you can see it's not even in in the top it's in the top thousand so um you know with uh, potentially 8.2 million is it sharder coins um uh, you know so this could be an interesting coin really uh, both apps will require a lot of coins um so if that requires a lot of coins there might be you know a huge demand for for the sharder token it's an interesting price a good project uh, they've got some you know products and real use cases so it could have some big gains in the near near term or, or, or long term um so it's a market cap is quite small so it could fly so again it's a risky wildcard entry I wanted to talk about this video. It's not in a big mark, uh, exchanges yet, but it's a key, it's an interesting project that you guys can keep an eye out for. So I'll mix it up with some main big coins and then some smaller coins and some crazy uh, co uh, new projects as well. So let me know what you guys think. If you're interested, um, uh, comment below. I'll make more videos on it. I'll do some more research on it. And comment below on the whole video as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hopefully you guys enjoy it. It uh, seems to me these two videos that I make every month, the top five coin and altcoin season video. I can only do small videos on, on YouTube, you know, twice a month. If you're interested, I'll do live streams three to four times a week. Uh, there's a crypto course as well uh, where you guys can, if you're new to trading, you can get started. And, you know, if we do get Bitcoin breakout and altcoin season, these could be uh, great times for you to uh, learn how to trade. You can get a, a, a introduction to the trading courses as well and i'm posting there every day with coins that are breaking out so 
thank you very much for watching i uh, hopefully you enjoyed it i will make a video on youtube as well if coins break out i'll keep if you want to take your train to the next level you can check it out if not guys just smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i'm getting close to 10k subscribers so i'll do a free live stream on youtube as well so check it out so thank you very much for watching if you want to take your train to the next level check it out it's 30 pound for a month so there's an offer for the yearly it's 160 pounds if you want to check it out uh, if not guys thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel hopefully bitcoin consolidates ethereum goes sideways uh, ethereum breaks out and we have a big altcoin moves i know most people watching more of altcoin traders than bitcoin and forex traders so i really hope for you guys that we have a continued big altcoin moves like we've seen in some of these coins so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much